You heard my offer, Gwen. My plan or whatever you want to call it. But by any name, it is the only way you and I will emerge from this situation unscathed. Okay, I have to admit, you do seem to have considered every angle. Well, one must when one's future well-being is at stake. But you already know this, don't you, Gwen? Which is why you would be a fool not to accept my offer. All you have to do is let me go. And I will keep up my end of our arrangement. How do I know I can trust you? I may be many things, but first and foremost, I am a woman of my word. I will do exactly as I promised if you let me go. Look, this is tempting. Think but I... of the alternative. If you don't let me go, I will go to prison for murdering Pilar's sister and her nephews. Pilar won't see me as a threat anymore. She will feel her family is safe and she will tell them everything, including your part in all of this. You will surely go to prison for blackmail, but worst of all, you will lose Ethan forever. And maybe even little Jonathan, if he sues you for sole custody. But if you help me, we can both win. So what's it going to be, Gwen? Are you going to let me go? Or will you condemn us both for our role in Teresa's death? Sweetheart. You know, I am so glad you are getting along with little Ethan. I'm sure your daddy is, too. You know, Teresa... Little Ethan's mother mm -hmm. is your daddy's sister. Daddy, I wish he was here with us. I miss him. I know. Me too. But your daddy had to make a quick trip down to Mexico to help your grandma Pilar and your Aunt Teresa. Why do they need help? Well, I don't know, but I'm sure your daddy will tell us as soon as he gets back. And I hope Daddy never leaves us again. I want him to stay with us forever. Me too, sweetheart. Because you love him. Oh, more than words can say. Me too. Oh, that's why I want the three of us to be a family when he gets back. But Daddy said he was going to marry Fancy. He did? Yeah, only I'm afraid of her now. She yelled at Daddy, remember? Yeah. I, I remember. She yelled at all of us. Yeah, she was mean, screaming like Grandfather used to at only nannies. Oh, sweetheart, well, you don't have to worry about that ever again, okay? Because your daddy and I made a promise that she is never going to be around you ever again. But if she marries daddy... Well, don't worry about that, okay? Because she is never going to be around you, ever. And we're going to make sure that daddy is with us from now on. Herbal tea is great for soothing the nerves. Thanks. I just wish I knew what keeps happening to me. I mean, one minute I am perfectly fine, and the next I'm attacking you and Louise. After going off on Aunt Sheridan and poor Marty. And then I even tried to seduce Noah. I must be losing my mind. It's stress. You know, Aunt Sheridan certainly has not made it easy for you to be with Louise. No, it's, it's more than that. It's like I can't control my emotions. If I keep this up, I'm going to lose Louise. If I haven't lost him already. That's the plan, sis. To lose Louise. To me. I can't believe she is gone. She's, she's, she's out there. She's lost to her friends and family and everybody. I can't believe it either. This whole night seems like a nightmare. Doesn't seem real. You know, I had a hold on her. I was holding her. 
If I had held on tighter, man, I would have probably been able to do something. Come on, you can't blame yourself, okay? Luis is right. None of this is your fault. That's right. It's Juanita's. I don't know what the hell or why the hell she had it out for my family, but... Well, you can be damn sure I'm gonna find out. I'm with you, bro. We deserve answers, and we're gonna get them. You guys answer me something? What the hell am I supposed to do now? Your sister was everything to me. I mean, after eight long years, we were closer than we had ever been. It was great, and all of a sudden, this happens. This is the end. This. And there's not a damn thing that any of us can do to get her back. Come on, Gwen, do it. Set me free before the others come back. I will do what I said I'd do. We will both be safe, and you will have Ethan forever. Okay, you're right. It is the only way out. Gwen, what's going on? Lose Luis over my outbursts. And acting like a skank. Right. I, I just have to let him know how much I love him and how sorry I am for the way I've been acting lately. I could talk to Luis if you'd like. Really? Of course. You're my sister. I'm happy to do anything to help. Oh, pretty. Thank you. That means so much to me. Don't be silly. I want you to have all the happiness you deserve. Not one damn bit. I want you to be happy, too. I'm getting there. You know, I'm doing a lot better than when I first came home. We're both doing a lot better. Moving past how you got scarred has been good for both of us. Never forgive, never forget. That's my motto. I just wish I knew why I keep having these outbursts. Yeah, it's too early for menopause. <laughs> And I'm not pregnant. And I keep hoping I am. I've decided to see about getting some help. So a doctor could find the implant jammed up your nose? That won't do one bit. You know, before you have doctors poking and prodding you and shrinks over medicating you, why don't you try yoga or meditation? Yeah. Yeah, I'll think about it. I just know I have to do something before my behavior costs me my relationship with Louise. Fancy. We didn't expect to find you down here. To go before she yells at us. No, no, Marty, Marty, I don't want to yell at you. You or your mother. Just stay away, okay? I, I don't want you anywhere near my son, and obviously Marty doesn't want you near him either. I just wanted to say hello. No! Okay, can't you see? Marty doesn't want to talk to you, and I don't blame him after the way you behaved the other night. I know I lost control, and I just want to apologize but for I, it. Are, are you kidding me? Lost control? You went crazy! Poor Marty is traumatized after what you did to him. And with good reason. Ben, what are you doing? Are you fiddling with her bindings? Look, I was just making sure they were still tight, okay? I mean, if we need to escape, she's, she's never going to be punished for killing Pilar's sister and nephews. And I, I know you don't want that, right? Hell no. Okay. All right. Well, if I were you, I would just keep your distance. She's about as nasty as they come. All right, I'll keep that in mind. We hope. Oh, what are you doing? I thought you were in the van. Give a sedative. They gave me one, but I'm too upset to rest. What happened with Teresa? We didn't find any trace of her. Sorry. Nothing. <laughs> no, my mother, the rescue people were right. Teresa's gone. 
Don't even try to apologize for your behavior the other night because what you did was completely unforgivable. I honestly don't know what came over me. I don't care. All right, because the damage is done. Marty is scared half to death of you, and I told Luis that I don't want you anywhere near Marty. But I'm sorry. So? Marty and I were getting so close. Remember how much fun we had at the hockey game? That was before. Well, can I have a second chance? Look, just stop. Okay, stop trying to make Marty be close with you again when he obviously doesn't want to. Okay, um, you know, why don't you just let things lie for a while? Why don't we try forever? Because I don't want you anywhere near my son ever again. Okay, fine. But can't the two of us at least talk about this? I don't, I don't want things to stay so tense. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you started screaming like a half-crazed lunatic. I told you. I don't know why I went off like I did. And I told you, I don't care. I don't want you anywhere near my son or me, for that matter. Marty, I know you're still upset over what happened. And I am, too. I am really sorry for behaving that way in front of you. I was totally out of line. And what I said to your mom was true. I'm, I'm not sure why I did what I did, but I promise it won't happen again. Maybe it's time for an encore performance. <gasps> Pretty. What was that? I understand. My family and I appreciate everything you and the others have done. Yeah, we wish it had turned out differently as well. Just make sure that you thank everyone for helping. Okay. Search has been officially called off. And the Mexican authorities have declared Teresa dead. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, God. Mi niña preciosa. That's okay. No, we're not, Mia. I'll never get over losing Teresa. It was bad enough I lost Antonio. No, Teresa. I don't think I can take this, Mio. She didn't deserve this. No, she didn't. Now those two innocent children don't have a mother. And you boys have lost your sister and I've lost another child. <laughs> As God is my witness, Mio. Those responsible for Teresa's death will pay and will. Do you hear me? Teresa's death will not go unavenged. What is that thing? I know. I saw one when I was staying with Grandfather. You use it when you want to control. Well, what do you mean? You know, when you want someone to do whatever you want them to, just push these buttons and you can control. Really? Uh-oh. I'm dead meat. Come on. No, no, it's okay. Okay, please don't do this, okay? Don't just save your strength, okay? I'm getting my strength straight from God. He's not going to allow Teresa's death to be in vain. No. Right? We are loved... Once, we will be Teresa's avenging angels. And Teresa's killers will feel our wrath. You hear that, Juanita? You and your henchmen are gonna pay. That's right. That's right, mijo. At least we have Juanita in our custody. The federales will make sure that she gets what's coming to her. Yes. And along with anyone else who helped her, And I'm going to help the Mexican prosecution make sure that this case is airtight. Thank you, Ethan. You don't have to thank me. We both lost someone irreplaceable tonight, and I swear on my love for her, who's ever responsible is going to pay. Sweetie. 
sweetheart, I don't understand what you mean. How does it control people? It makes them move around to get out of danger so the heroes can knock out the bad guys. Oh, I see. You mean it controls characters in a video game. Yeah, Grandfather had one like this when I stayed with him. I used it to play my video games. <sighs> Looks like I've been busted. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Okay, I... I admit it. <laughs> I'm addicted to video games. <laughs> you are? I know it's weird for someone my age, but... I don't date much, and they help pass the time, and they're fun. I wonder if the video game Little Ethan and I were playing the other day is still here. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm sure it's up in Little Ethan's room, so why don't you go up there and play with him? Um, I'm sure it works down here. Little Ethan said all the TVs in the mansion are set up the same way. You're right. They are. But you know what? Why don't you go upstairs and play in Little Ethan's room so Fancy and your mom can talk? I'm in a rush. Look, there it is. Watch Mommy smoke at this game. I'll be fine. Go ahead. Go. Okay. I love you. Uh, See you soon. Okay. Oh, God, Teresa. You were just here. Now you're gone. It doesn't seem possible. so sorry. Are you... Are you really sorry that Teresa's gone? How can you even... Or are you actually happy that you're rid of her? Oh, my God. Mother, we have been over this so many times. All I ever wanted to do was just threaten Pilar, okay? Just threaten her so that she would keep Teresa away from Ethan. I never, ever, ever wanted Pilar or anyone in her family to be killed. What? Yeah, even Teresa, okay? Although sometimes I think the only way to fully be rid of her is for her to be dead. It's true, isn't it? You are happy that she is dead. <laughs> Juanita. Tied up, awaiting fate like the rabbit dog that you are. Me, Pilar. You're the one foaming at the mouth. Shut up! You bitch. You killed my Teresa. Finally. Payback for killing my husband along with my entire family. An eye for an eye, Pilar. An eye for an eye. You are finally getting what you deserve. Oh, I swore I would get my revenge on you for what you did to me. And now, finally, decades later, I am getting it. You are an evil woman. What? To even the score? No, Pilar. No. This is justice. Or at least the start of it. Every member of your family is going to die. Your children, your grandchildren. And finally, you. Watch, Mommy. Honey, I think you should go upstairs and see little Ethan, okay? Just a minute. I think you should listen to your mother, Marty. Come on, sweetheart, please. Uh, no, wait, Aunt Sheridan, please, let's let's talk about this first. No, no, fancy, no, there is nothing left to talk about. I don't want you near my son ever again. Marty, uh, that hasn't been working right lately, so why don't you go use the one in little Ethan's room? No, maybe dropping the control fixed it, because it's working fine, see? What? I'm gonna have the exalted one knock out all the evil minions from blocking his way. Take that and that. No! Oh, Pitsy! What the hell is wrong with you? Oh my god, why did I just do that? Oh. 
How could the Juanita that I knew growing up turn into a wretched excuse of a human being? Because of you, Pilar. You. The woman who single-handedly wiped out my family in one night. Oh, my revenge will take longer. But one by one, you will watch as your loved ones die. Some quickly, some not. Did you know that I especially enjoy torturing children? No, oh, you're sick. Oh, yes, their little screams are like music to my ears. Oh, my God. The devil himself must fear you. I am sure I will find out one day. And not yet. Not until I kill every member of your family. I didn't deliberately set out to kill anyone. I was trying to defend myself. Carlos was raping me. No. You tried to seduce him. He rejected you and you killed him. He was a horrible man. He smuggled drugs. What? I loved him. Shh. Oh, my God. That's what I did. I called the police. Because I wanted to stop the violence that was about to happen at your house. I had no idea that they would kill your children in front of you by mistake. But they did, Pilar. Because of you. I didn't intentionally set out to hurt anyone. But you. Oh, you, Juanita. You, you set out to destroy my entire family. Yes, I have. You know, I, I'm really not interested in your version of why you killed my family. The fact is, everyone I loved is dead because of you. And now I am going to return that favor. Oh, you're not going to get a chance. As soon as my sons come back, I'm going to tell them everything. And the only thing that you'll be doing is sitting, rotting away in prison, just like you should be. I've served my time, Pilar. Life without my family is a life of suffering I wouldn't want to wish on anyone except you. So, you killed my sister and my nephews and then my beautiful Teresa? Oh, with pleasure. Good. You remember that feeling. Because you will never feel it again. Because you will spend the rest of your miserable life behind bars. Okay, you need help. You need serious, serious help. Oh, sure, sure. I'm sorry. You feel that way, bitch. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. No! Can you believe this? I even feel my own record. What just happened? Like you don't know. That's it, Marty. Come on, we're getting out of here now. I have one more door to open to win. days as the scourge of Mexico are over, Juanita. You will never be able to hurt anyone again, including me and my family. I hope that you rot 
in the nastiest prison this country has. Do you know what I hope, Kelly? I don't care. Please don't think that I'm singling you out. There's plenty of blame to go around. I plan to make Gwen and Rebecca pay for their role in Mike Teresa's death. And I'm not talking just prison time. I have something else in mind for Gwen. She's gonna lose Ethan. Because I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him what Gwen and her whore of a mother did. Blackmailing me so that I would keep Teresa away from Ethan. Ethan's going to hate Gwen for the rest of his life. And then he's going to get custody of their child. And Gwen will have nothing. Gwen and Rebecca, they may have gotten rid of my daughter. But Teresa's death will be the very thing that kills any chance Gwen ever had of being with Ethan. I want to hear you say it. Admit that you're happy that Teresa's dead. Okay, you know that I hated Teresa, and she made my life a living hell for eight long years, and yeah, Ethan, I said many times over and over that I wanted her dead, but I did not mean that literally. I mean, I didn't want to actually see Teresa dead. I hope that sounded sincere. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, none of this is your fault. I'm just not thinking straight right now, okay? Of course you're not. Ethan, your whole world is, is crashing down right now. Thank you for understanding. I'm sorry. God, I am shameless. I just don't understand why this had to happen. I have so many questions. Why did it have to happen? Why did she have to die? What was she and Plard doing down here in Mexico? And what's her connection to this Juanita woman? Ethan, I wish I could tell you. But I can't. Well, I know one thing. I know that I'm not going to let this go. I lost the love of my life tonight. And I'm going to make sure it, that everyone involved will pay dearly. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? Maybe I have like a blood clot or a brain tumor or something. I mean, how can I be so rational one minute and then out of control the next? You were upset about Marty. I mean, maybe the fear of Luis losing his son made you lose it. No, no. It was like I had no control over my own brain or body. And I wasn't even thinking about what I was doing. I was just doing it. God, help me. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Uh, well, something's wrong. That much we can agree on. I wish Luis were here. Well, he's still in Mexico. I know, I know, but I need him now more than ever. And I can't wait for him to come home. If anyone needs Luis, it's me. And I'm going to have him. The sooner the better. I am so sorry that Fancy upset you again. It was kind of funny when she hit the wall and fell down. Oh, sweetheart, sweetheart. Actually, it wasn't funny. Something is very wrong with Fancy. And until she's better, I definitely don't want her anywhere near you. Thanks. Thank you, Mom. Of course. I wanted to like Fancy again, but I'm afraid of her now. And you know what? What, sweetheart? I think Fancy's afraid of how she gets to. Yeah. I wish your daddy was here. The three of us really need to be together. And the sooner I can make that happen, the better. Signing papers declaring Teresa dead. That was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. It's hard just watching you do it. I can still see deceased after Teresa's name. Cold, final. I remember when Teresa was just a little girl. I used to have my buds over the house. You now we'd shoot hoops. She would always come running out the door. 
You love to play with these little dolls, you know? <laughs> it drove me crazy. It drove me crazy when she was like that in front of my, my friends, you know? They tell her, get out of here. She go running back into the house, crying. It wouldn't have killed me to have played with her, you know? You know, we could have just played with her dolls, done a little runway thing. Maybe, who knows? We could have made a, you're being a, a too hard basketball on team or something. You're being too hard on yourself. You did what all brothers and sisters do. You fought over silly stuff. No harm. I could have done better. I just mom's sister, for God's sake. You wouldn't be giving this a second thought if she was still alive. She is a mess. Look, I, I did the same thing, only in reverse. I mean, I was the annoying little brother that used to always pester my big sister, okay? Did I know about this? No, probably not. You were working all the time back then. But when Whitney would come home with Teresa after school, I, I would always drive him crazy, however I could. I, mean, I would hide under the bed. I would... Tell Teresa I was going to tell Mama all her secrets, and that would send her through the roof every time. Yeah, but it's different. After Papa left, I was supposed to take care of the family. I was supposed to be man of the family, but I just ended up letting her down. Refusing to play dolls with your sister isn't letting her down. You were there for Teresa Luis. You were there for all of us. Is that right? Then where was I tonight? Where was I when I needed to say her? I'm going to punish every single person involved in this, starting with Juanita. I'm going to find out why Pilar and Teresa were down here in Mexico and why Juanita wanted to kill him. Oh, God. If I can't free Juanita soon, my life is going to be over. Oh, my God, what Ethan must be going through. I know how I'd feel if I lost Kay. I'm not sure I could go on. Yeah, but Ethan and Teresa had already been through so much. And she always believed in fate. She thought it would bring her and Ethan together. Yeah. That almost did, didn't it? Almost. I just hope nothing else comes between me and Kay. Well, you and Kay have already been through so much, too. You deserve happiness. So do you, Luis. Yeah. I don't know. She's been having these weird mood swings lately. I don't know what's going on with her. But you still love her. Yeah, of course I love her. I'll do anything I can to help her. After losing Teresa, I can't bear to lose Fancy. Lopez Fitzgerald. Senor, a woman is here at the hotel asking for you. Who is it? I didn't get her name, but she's muy bonita, very beautiful, and obviously in love with you. May I let her into your room? Is she blonde? Si, senor. All right, tell her I'll be right there. I'm on my way. Si, senor. As he came down here to see me, you know, see if I can talk to her, maybe work things out. Yeah. Go, be with her. Um, I'll look after Ethan and Mama. All right, bro. Okay. See you soon. All right, go. Juanita. Why the hell not? I want to find out what Juanita had to do with Pilar and Teresa coming down here to Mexico. By God, she's going to tell me or she's not going to leave this wharf alive, Gwen. Look, just, just leave Juanita alone. Why the hell don't you want me to confront Juanita? That kind of fancy's here. She knows what it's like to lose a sibling. Love conquers all, right? Yeah, I guess. 
میشه <تصفيق> Why don't you want me to confront Juanita? Because I don't think that now's a good time. Look, Pilar is talking to her. Maybe she can find out why Juanita had it in for her and Teresa. So if you go over there and you interrupt them, you know, maybe it'll just drag things out. Fine. All right, I'll let Pilar have her time with Juanita, but then I'm going to find out for myself what the hell's going on. I'm going to find the truth, the whole truth. I'm not going to rest until I do. <sighs> Your threats are empty, Juanita. You will no longer be able to hurt me or my family. I'm going to expose you, along with Gwen and Rebecca, for what you had to do with my daughter's death. You okay, Mama? I'm fine, Mio. Donde está Luis? He, um, he went back to the hotel after getting a call that a woman is there to see him. Well, I hope your brother isn't walking into some kind of trap. No, I doubt it. Uh, Luis thinks that Fancy flew down to be with him, so he's anxious to talk to her and get the relationship back on track. I hope they can. Uh, Teresa and Ethan, you know, they ran out of time before they could, so... I know. Well, Ma, it was terrible. There's nothing we can do about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should be resting. I'm fine, Ethan. I'll be even better once that vicious woman is behind bars. The Federal I should be here soon to take her away. Before they do, I want to tell you about Juanita's involvement in the nightmare that unfolded here tonight. Flora, shouldn't you uh, wait for Louise? No, Gwen, I shouldn't. I think I've waited long enough. Too long, actually, to be honest about this situation. We'll fill Luis in later. Go on, and I'll finish your story. I have a secret from my past. And it's come back to haunt me and tear my life apart. And tonight it robbed me of my Teresa. I know now that had I come clean sooner had I owned up to it. My sister, my nephews, and Teresa would still be alive. So I won't lose one more person from my family. The truth will come out tonight. All of it. Where's a bolt of lightning or a tsunami when you need one? I may not get Teresa back, but I'm certainly going to find out tonight who's responsible for costing Teresa her life. <laughs> 